everyone. Welcome to Danny's Kitchen. My name is Danielle and I'm bringing you good food. It's quick and easy for you and your family. Today we're going to do some apple hand pies in the air fryer. Uh, my in their hands. So that's what we're going to do today. So I figured come along with me and we'll make it together. Um, you are going to just peel your apple and Really, it's okay if there's like a little bit of skin on there, it's like not a big deal. And then, what we're going to do is we're going to core and chop them so you have the skin coming off. I am using a gala apple, you can use whatever apples you prefer um, in this. So, um, so I'm just going to press down. And then I'm just going to release it. This is the core and more that I'm using. This is actually going to be discontinued after February 28th. So if you're looking for something like this, I would, I would say grab it and see how it poured that. So um, I would say it's very inexpensive tool to have in your kitchen. It's great. You could just take these centers and fill them with some um, with like some oatmeal and brown sugar and um, maybe some nuts if you want some nuts um, and then some brand and then put it in the center with like some caramel sauce and um, and bake them like that and they would be delicious so I'm just going to cube these And I'm going to put them in here and I'm going to cook the apples and the reason being is because it's not like a typical apple pie, right? That's going to be in your oven for 40, 50 minutes, whatever uh, your recipe says. So these are a quicker thing. So you're going to want to cook these apples um, beforehand before doing the hand pies. So I'm just cutting them down like that and then I'm just using a paring knife. You don't need anything. You know, you don't need a big knife for this. And uh, put these in here. Like that. And then throw them in there. So we're done with that. And then we're going to take light brown sugar. And you're going to do one third a cup. want a little less you put a little less in there no big deal it just depends how you want your um want your apples so you turn this on do a little bit of salt a teaspoon of cinnamon now i have pepper chips karinji cinnamon um which is not available at the moment um, but it comes around the holiday times and when I the holidays I buy a bunch of these so they last me all year long um, and it's great cinnamon but on hand I just love cinnamon it's a way more potent and a little better flavor like I drank my coffee black so and I put a little sprinkle a uh, little cinnamon in there so it's perfect it gives me a little bit of a stronger cinnamon flavor and that's how I drink my coffee. So we're going to cook this down for a few minutes, uh, about three minutes, and you'll see it start getting all nice and soft and bubbly. I'm just throwing out, just throwing out my, there I am. I'm just throwing out my, um, my skins and everything. So my cat, Luke, he's uh, coming in to probably eat. He might be like literally the fattest cat um, ever. He, it's all he wants to do. We feed him in the morning and at night and he meows all day long for more than one of anyone else's cats he does that. So we're cooking these. I'm getting my wooden spoon. These are the, I think these are the bamboo. These are actually going out too. So if you need great wooden spoons, these are also, you can throw them in the dishwasher, which wooden spoons you cannot do because they will get bacteria and everything in them. It's a no, no good, but these you can. 
um, and they're like a nice, solid, beautiful wooden spoon. So, um, so if you want to grab these too, um, you want to get them before February 28th. So, um, I'm just going to give it a quick little stir around. And we're just going to, I'm going to put my lid on this. And then um, what we'll do is I'm just going to clean off my workspace and get that pie crust all ready. You can make your own pie crust or you can buy at the store. I just bought at the store. I'm doing easy today because, there we go. Um, giant brand so whatever you like um, I do make my own but today just not happening because I want to kind of do these easy and fast and there's no better way than to buy some at the store so um, so let's while that is cooking down and you're probably wondering what else I have here in my kitchen so I have some cornstarch that we're going to use thicken that up after it cooks for a few minutes and then um, what I'm going to use now you could use biscuit cutters um, you can cut them with a knife I'm actually going to use this is the older version of the sandwich um, pampered chef sandwich maker um, and it seals it great they did come out with a different version it's square now it's plastic I don't own it so um, we're gonna go with the older one that I have but they're great for the little hands and it seals everything like you could do peanut butter and jelly crustables I do like a Nutella and peanut butter um, one and then I pop it in the air fryer and it's ooey gooey and delicious um, that you could do it with fluff or nutter and peanut butter um, and you can even pop that in the air fryer too and toast it up um, so, or just do it plain. I know as a kid, that was one of my favorite things. Um, and if you have a nut allergy, you could just do any kind of nut butter that you love. So, um, there's some really great ideas. Um, so you have pie crust that are enough to make for two layers. You need a top and a bottom. So we're going to open these up. in a little saucepan that I have this is an older version of Pampered Chef um, they have a newer line but um, it's unavailable at the moment but it's great and so you can use any kind of saucepan you want I typically like to use a nonstick when I'm doing anything that's syrupy and gooey and messy so um, so that's what I use you can use whatever you feel comfortable with I'm going to put up my pie crust here while that finishes cooking. If I can get it open, I'm like struggling. All right. There we go. All right. We'll just lay him there. And we're just waiting for this. Cook some more. like apple pie already. All right, so we are going to use, get a little bit of water to seal it. If you're doing this with bread, you don't need water, but I'm using pie crust, so on the safe side, I'm just going to seal it a little bit more. And oh, there it is. Looking for my little brush here. All right, let's check it out. Oh, there it goes. And 
silly me. I put my spoon in the sink. So if you're cooking with non-stick, you definitely, yeah, that's perfect. It's like nice and thick and it'll hold. Let me show you. See that? How nice that is. Beautiful. All right, so we're ready to do our pies. So I'm just going to put, you don't need a whole lot. So I'm going to put one there. Put one there. I'm going to make like, and you can do it separately too, if you're more comfortable with that. Hopefully I'm measuring these out right, so that we'll see what happens. And I think we can use, maybe, I don't know, that one might be okay. So, it's just like all the way on the edge, but we'll say flexibility with this. And then I'm just going to lay this, put some water in between. And this is a great pastry brush because it's silicone, so you're not going to get any of the stuff on it. All right. Gonna lay this in. It's totally all right. Does mix them together. All right. Just lay it on top. Right. And then just go like this. Now, if you wanted to, you could totally just knife with a knife and cut it. But I'm gonna use our. So this one's just gonna be a little messy, but it's okay. It's all good. Nothing wrong with a little mess. All right. And then I'm just taking this guy like that. And then I'm making these little pockets. See? And then I'll cut like a little hole in it. Um, like a little, um, and you can use biscuit cutters too to let it vent when we're all done. I just find that this seals it. Like if you're going to use a biscuit cutter, um, you, you still have to seal it um, with a fork. So this kind of just does all of it. And you're good. So. And you can lift up the pie across and around it, just like that. Nope, oh, tore it. Darn it. All right, hopefully we can see them. So let's see. And then you have your scraps. You could totally just find something to do with it. Like you could probably even take these, right? Fry them up, roll them in some cinnamon sugar maybe. I don't know. Just something like that I'm thinking off the top of my head. So um, what you want to do is you want to just cut a hole so they can vent. Just like that. Real easy. And then we are going to brush with a little. All right. So I grab my air fryer and I kind of move it to where I need it to in the kitchen. So um, we are just going to brush these with a little butter to make the crust nice and brown and beautiful. Uh, you can do a mixture of milk, you put, put milk on it or water if you don't want to do the butter, but I like the butter, so that's what we're going to do. And then you're just going to put them on, I put a little parchment down, you could use if you have a bar pan. You could put that in there um, totally. One. And then we'll put the other one on. Just like that. And then you're just gonna put it on air fry. This air fryer is awesome because it does everything. So it's, it's a rotisserie, it's a dehydrator, it's an air fryer, you could use it to toast everything, you can use it. All right guys, so the ham pies are all done. We're gonna take them out. And I'm just gonna brush them, I'm just gonna pull them off this. And we're gonna brush them with a little more butter. Just trying to give them a little bit of a brush in. And then you can eat these. You could let them cool and freeze. There we go. Let them cool and freeze. Um, and then you could warm them up and have ham pies whenever you want. So, um, so there you go. So thank you guys so much for watching.